The FPS genre, to some extent, has always been a hostile environment. One might consider this appropriate, considering the genre itself. But while there are a large number of shooters on the market today, the general debate within the community can be broken down to two games. Two camps, if you will. And you already know where I'm going with this. The Call of Duty community and the Battlefield community. The typical narrative, if you're a fan of one, you hate the other. Call of Duty fans will often cite the complexity of Battlefield. The Call of Duty fan prefers the simplicity of smaller maps and the constant close quarters action they provide over the large scale combat of Battlefield, where you might have to put some serious time and effort into learning the complexities behind Battlefield, you can pick up Call of Duty, jump into a game, and immediately begin putting down enemies. Battlefield fans cite every reason why COD fans don't like their game as the reasons why it's better. They prefer the learning curve, the strategy involved with large scale combat, and at least, in my opinion, the boundary this puts between themselves and the younger, inexperienced, and all too often, immature players that flock to Call of Duty. These two games and their respective communities have dictated the FPS discussion over the last five years. And where negativity will always triumph over praise, you won't necessarily hear someone say that they love one, but that they hate the other. Where I once would have placed myself firmly in the Call of Duty camp, I have now begun to turn away from the franchise. The futuristic direction Call of Duty has taken over the last three releases, and where they're now going with Black Ops 3, has me yearning for a more traditional military shooter. Since the beginning of this year, I have begun playing Battlefield 4, and I enjoy it far more than Advanced Warfare. So at this point, I have become conflicted over this debate. I hate the direction Call of Duty is taking, and it's forcing me to play Battlefield. But you know what? I fucking hate Battlefield. I don't say this in the narrative set before, as a fan of one, I must hate the other. I hate Battlefield for a reason I have never heard in this COD vs Battlefield debate. But I know there is a small minority out there who will share my opinion on this issue. I don't hate Battlefield because I love Call of Duty. I hate Battlefield because I love Medal of Honor. There were a couple shooters I played before Medal of Honor, notably 007 games and Quake 3 Arena, but it wasn't until I picked up Medal of Honor Frontline in the spring of 2004 that I began to consider myself as an FPS gamer. I remember many afternoons after school, riding home on the bus eager to get home, fire up the PS2, and start killing some Nazis. After that, I bought Rising Sun, European Assault, etc, etc. The thing that I loved about the Medal of Honor series is that its emphasis was always on honoring the military. As a student of history, I fell in love with the franchise. The games were designed around telling and preserving a time in history where the world was truly on the brink and these young men who fought against all odds to secure the peace and freedom of people throughout the world. You can't compare these titles to the most recent Call of Duty games, at least in technological terms, but you can compare the difference in narrative. Medal of Honor was always about honoring those who fought. Even their catchphrase, you don't play, you volunteer, shows this mentality. Call of Duty, at least since it really took off, has always placed its core emphasis on cinematics. While there was great story behind Modern Warfare, World at War, and Black Ops 1, in recent releases, it's clear to see that this is fading away, replaced by flashy cinematics and pew 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 gunfights. Whether you love COD or not, everyone should agree that the franchise is taking the direction of appealing to a younger audience and is asking nothing of that audience in return, other than their parents' credit card information. In stark contrast, Medal of Honor asks you to think about the past and honor the sacrifices that real people made. Life, limb, friends, and family. A victory at the end of a Medal of Honor game always seemed Pyrrhic, 
while a victory in Call of Duty, well, you get the point. The developers who created the first Call of Duty actually branched out from the original Medal of Honor team. And before Call of Duty even had a name, it was simply known as the Medal of Honor Killer. Activision and Infinity Ward set out to take over EA's hold on the World War II shooter. And while the Call of Duty franchise would eventually surpass Medal of Honor, they didn't kill it. EA killed Medal of Honor. While Battlefield has been around since 2002, I literally never even heard of it until Bad Company 2, which was 8 years later. This was right around the time I was playing Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1. Some friends began telling me that I should be playing Battlefield instead of Call of Duty. So I picked it up, played through the campaign, and messed around in multiplayer. It was alright, the multiplayer was fun, but for me, the selling point of a game will always be a great campaign and Battlefield has always been driven almost entirely by its multiplayer. Even COD, albeit not so much in recent years, has had great campaigns. But over the last 10 years, the focus of video games has shifted almost entirely from campaign to multiplayer, and EA picked up on this trend. They saw the gains Call of Duty achieved over the past few years, and after the success of Modern Warfare, and its very popular multiplayer gameplay, EA began to shift emphasis towards supporting a multiplayer driven franchise over that of the one focused on a campaign. It's because of Call of Duty that EA began to favor Battlefield over Medal of Honor, but it's because of EA that Medal of Honor would die. They attempted to do what Activision was doing with their COD developers and began alternating each year between the two titles. Battlefield one year, Medal of Honor the next. This began with the modern themed reboot Medal of Honor in 2010, but it was obvious that EA was putting more financial effort into developing and selling Battlefield. Battlefield received more resources in both development as well as advertising, and consequently the new Medal of Honor titles received mixed to negative reviews, and sales suffered. To put it simply, Medal of Honor could not compete with the hype Battlefield began to receive. Warfighter would go on to be the last Medal of Honor title before EA shelved the franchise, stating that there were no plans to continue with the series. Which is a true fucking shame. I understand that the two most recent titles were not the best, but it shouldn't have been enough to shelve a series which for the better part of the last decade ran without competition. Anyone that grew up playing FPS shooters throughout the 2000s knows the experience a Medal of Honor campaign would bring. At the time, it was unparalleled, and in some ways, it still is today. Call of Duty has given up on providing the classic campaign, and it was never Battlefield's objective to do so. At a time when gamers have grown disgruntled with both the complexity of Battlefield, the simplicity of COD, and the quarrel between the two. Looking back on the Medal of Honor series seems like a very distant, but extremely fond memory, and I miss it deeply. This is why I hate Battlefield. So I'm not a Call of Duty fanboy, and I'm sure as hell not a Battlefield fanboy. I'm a Medal of Honor fanboy, and always will be. So fuck you EA, for giving up so easily on my most beloved FPS franchise. So I've begun to think about a new series I want to do on this channel, Medal of Honor Mondays. Starting next Monday, I will begin uploading one mission at a time, one game at a time, of every Medal of Honor that I own. This goes across three platforms, PS1, PS2, and 360. It should be interesting to see how the franchise began, rose to the top of the genre, and eventually faded from the limelight. Let me know what you think of this idea. If you've ever played Medal of Honor, it should bring back some good memories. And if you haven't, I hope it can convince you to go out and pick up a couple titles. This has been Good Helvetica, and thanks for watching.